in interpreting the visual image, the brain has to resolve ambiguities. And in doing so, it uses all sorts of assumptions, built-in assumptions about the world. And because it uses all these assumptions, which we can investigate in the laboratory and discover, you can also trick the visual system. And, and this is what you call a visual illusion. This is the M's room. It's a grotesquely deformed trapezoidal room. But the astonishing thing is, if you look inside the room, the room looked completely normal. And the walls look parallel and everything seems fine. The reason is that the brain has a built-in assumption that the walls of rooms are usually parallel. This is something we've grown up with all our lives. And this assumption is so strong that it completely overrides the fact that the people are actually changing sizes. Even though in the real world, obviously people don't change sizes like balloons, here you're willing to see that because the assumption of parallel walls is much stronger. I think in the case of special effects, what's happened is that we've become increasingly sophisticated. 